Hello everybody and welcome to Friday Night Stand Firm, the last show before Backlash. And joining me in the booth is the Friday Footboy himself, Tom Schnizzle, aka Le Bread Mask. Hello, how are you? I'm alright, thanks. Uh, how are you? Oh, well that's fantastic. Glad to hear that. Right, and <laughs> first, we've got the two cleverest men in the JFW. We've got uh, Elliot and Physics facing off in a battle of the brains. There should be no brain worms at all. We've got uh, we've got Elliot, our our uh, doctor in I don't know robotology, whatever. And uh, physics, of course, the cleverest man who's ever lived. Sir Isaac Newton. Probably the cleverest man who's ever lived, right? Probably. Let's see. Let's not include Jimmy Fantastic from that list. Do you agree? Oh, oui, oui, oui. Je suis le plus beau du but. Je suis le plus beau de votre Je suis le plus beau. Fuck off. No, Napoleon isn't the cleverest at all. Right. <laughs> He was on all right, General, but everyone else was stupid at the time. Right. <laughs> and he was short. Right. Well, we've got Elliot's entrance. We've got Elliot's entrance. That's always great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck up, pal. <laughs> well, it seems the bread mask likes it as well. That's good. <laughs> Shit, well on. <laughs> The science man. He's the Wemdork champion. And it's funny because. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. It's okay. Nobody knows. Nobody knows at the moment who physics is facing because there hasn't. No one has seen the uh, the poster that I've made for Backlash yet. No, that's the poster for Backlash has not been seen yet. Nobody knows who physics is facing. He will be continuing his Wemdorf Open Challenge at Backlash. Nobody knows. It could be versus anybody. Uh, yeah, exactly, exactly. Better biscuit and bezel, that is it. <laughs> this would be funny to give him like all of the titles. <laughs> Cause he's the he's the irresistible force and he's the immo immovable object. <laughs> oh well imagine if he just won there instantly. <laughs> oh she's a beer, a bit bear. Yeah, that was pretty devastating. Le suplex, je peux que vous dire. Oh, oui, oui, oui. Vous devez perdre. <laughs> wow, wonderful, wonderful move there by Elliot. Great counter. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, look at that, though. Frankensteiner. Doesn't drive into the map, though. That's just, like, some kind of shitty fucking head-scissors takedown, isn't it? Yes, I'm, I'm joined by the bread mask tonight, Night Demon, very nicely. He's taking some time out of his day to come into the booth. Ha ha, oi oi oi, je vous envoie que venir. Zo peut être humorous chip. Ha ha ha, je vous envoie belle peau. Well, there you go, strong words from the bread mask. Spoiling for a fight, he's going to be the new Plim Plum Pluserweight champ. Maybe. Taking on Chimp in a ladder match in a, in Backlash there. He, ex, he exclusively revealed, of course. A thunderous, a thunderous clothesline from Elliot about half the size of physics. <laughs> I don't know how the physics works on that clothesline. Holy shit. Rowdy. Rowdy drop kick to the dome. <laughs> Le bread mask. Le bread mask is pepper biscuit. Uh, Elliot. Elliot is just is is does not have a match at uh, a thingy. Uh, a backlash. It is Le bread mask, and and the number one contenders shot, which is why which is why he's decided to join us in uh, in the in the commentary booth tonight. <laughs> the jeu du bibon, the vu ladder, ha ha ha, plim plom plur, jambon de terre, ha, je brodu, je veux bibi, oui, oui, oui. So there you go, he's, he's very confident. Can't argue with that. <laughs> it looks like he's suplexed all the pigment off his body. Yeah, he's he's quite. We need we need a whitest man in the JFW match and see if we can work out <laughs> who is the whitest man in the JFW. Oh, look at that! You think I'm racist? Oh, glorious! Hello, peppered biscuit. It's not oh, it's like not peppered biscuit. It's Johnny Five. Struggling. Sorry. Oh, I literally thought that was I literally thought that was Pepper Biscuit then. We've got the world champion himself. Sorry that. Sorry, uh J5 and Pepper Biscuit. I just literally assumed it was Pepper Biscuit after the Among Us. It's been so long since Among Us that uh I'd forgotten what J5 sounded like, but how are you today, champ? Uh, do I have to wrestle today? That'll you, that'll you tell do. you how I'm doing. No. Couldn't find a buyer for the belt yet. <laughs> <laughs> no, sorry, uh you no you haven't found a potential buyer. You you are gonna have to defend against Squirrel Dude um on Sunday. And uh right, the computer will crash halfway through the match and I'll win by default. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> and uh tonight you are fighting Somebody. Uh, Flicky Flack. Flicky Flack? Oh, okay. Yeah, he's That's that much of a challenge. <laughs> Whoa! There's the green arrow! But uh, Elliot got his knees up. Huge count. I still yet to see anybody explain to me how putting your knees up is any better than having somebody landing on you full force. <laughs> <laughs> it's, just, it's just one of the wrestling things. I think J5. It works when you're a kid, well, I guess, of, right? Yeah, wrestling. Instead of knocking the wind out of him, he's broken his ankle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I guess knobbly knees, right? Instead of a soft stomach. You'd rather land on somebody's uh, soft underbelly than landing on their knobbly knees. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He looks like he's got some sharp knees. <laughs> He does, doesn't he? Yeah, fucking daggers for knees, that lad. <laughs> he won there, didn't he? He won with that, that counter to the to the green arrow. Incredible, that. <laughs> that somehow, somehow worked. And Elliot takes the big win. I really thought Elliot was going to lose for sure. <laughs> but he got a rowdy ball sack. And got the win. 
On a scale of one to ten, how Man, rowdy is this like ball sack? That's like a mongoose, though. Oh, it's it's like a ten out of ten rowdy ball sack. Look at that! Look how rowdy that is. <laughs> That's kind of Ken dollish to me. It does actually, yeah. I really like it. As soon as I said it, I was like, actually, it's fuck no all that. No gong physics in two K. <laughs> Actually, actually, he looks like a fucking Ken doll. PC's got a massive, got a massive package in this. Of course, Try only has a small package. Good enough. Well, we've got classic tag team action action coming next. We've got YPA versus Das Hats. Have you got any thoughts on these fellas? Uh. Well, who's in chat? We'll tell you who's I'm going to be rooting for. Looks like none of them, so it's a wash. <laughs> what about you, Tom? Oh, je j'en veux vous revenir, je veux les bear. J'en veux qu'on bear. IPA, j'en veux qu'on veut qu'on There you go. <laughs> I'm gone. I can't help it, uh, unfortunately, you know. <laughs> the bread mask is in the commentary booth. He's, he's not going anywhere. <laughs> oh, How come every time Elk Meme starts playing Blood Bowl again, he acts like he's like a two-year-old just picking it up for the first time? <laughs> <laughs> he asks all the simplest questions. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, of course, a move five bullet is more useful than a lone hobo. It's how much more useful he is, isn't it? All you have to do is give him a hundred thousand bits, and help will be your bitch on on stream. <laughs> He'll teach you everything you want to know. <laughs> Probably things you didn't want to know. Yeah, help's pretty good if you want to watch what not to do. <laughs> <laughs> No offense, Elf. That He's man probably has a good He's probably better than I am. He's probably not above saying. Average. What is it? CCL. Gitter. Is it like that? Oh, there's no one. Okay. Yeah, 55%. Slicker than your average. J5, 30 concessions though. <laughs> <laughs> well, if people would play faster, I'd concede less. <laughs> well, you beat me, PB. <laughs> that was that was like a totally uh, it was a totally well played match. To be honest, like there was just literally. The pickup was a bit unsecure, and then obviously the uh, the maybe. I mean, it was a lot of dice though to get the two D on the ball. But that was a good one. Saying, like, the, the difference between an excellent coach and a mediocre coach is like not even that big a deal. Like everybody acts like Blood Bowl is like the hardest game in the world to pick up and learn, but it's not. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Because once you once you've learned how to shoot DB and you know do some semblance of a good defense, then you know. You're up to the dice at that point. Yeah, it's, it's just particularly hard to pick up if you just buy the game right and play the game. That's the thing. If, if you were to just if you were to just buy the game and try and figure it all out without like reading the rule book, because like they give you the link to the the fucking CRP and that, don't they? And like if you didn't do the tutorial work, that I think that explains like block dice and stuff. I don't think it explains that. I think you just got to read them. Like if you if you just limit it to that and like don't see any YouTube or anything, it would be fucking hard. I reckon it'd be fucking hard to, to get it just from the computer game. Well, I'm assuming you you watched like that first like Crendor tournament, right? With uh, Crendor and uh, Strippin and all them. I like, have never played Blood Bowl before. I and they're like, seen. the first three games, they're just like screaming at each other why they can't do like long bombs from the end zone to the other end zone. It's <laughs> like that. It's just like, okay, I think I'll just turn this off now. <laughs> no, I never watched that. No, that's fucking funny. Artemis' response to that of, have they, have they changed the rules now? 
<laughs> oh man, but uh, it's brilliant. But yeah, it's it, there's a lot of truth in uh, there's a lot of truth in what in what uh, Fashbinder always used to say, which was all the teams the same once you can make a two dice block, and it's pretty much it. It's pretty much oh my god. Ori Lenses looked like he was trying to attack Lean Gary then. Anyway, now this is always trying to attack Lean Gary. <laughs> now that the longest entrance in the entire JFW is over with, I guess we can concentrate on the match. But yeah, no, I never watched the, the initial stripping and crumbled thing. Maybe I should because they're very popular, aren't they? Those two chaps. Yeah, I mean, it's entertaining, and it's, you know, for what it is, other than they're constantly complaining <laughs> at, about not being able to do things that are illegal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. So is Yorkshire, like, where, uh, uh, what's that television show uh, from uh, Peaky Blinders? Uh, no, that is the Midlands, Birmingham. Birmingham, isn't it? Is it Birmingham? Oh no, Dudley. Yeah, it's Birmingham. Dudley. Yeah, it takes place in Birmingham. <laughs> isn't that the same thing as Yorkshire? No, no, that is not the same thing. No, Yorkshire is like is more northern than Birmingham, um, but less north than me. <laughs> Birmingham is not in the north. It's the Midlands, out mean. Don't be a dick just because you're in the south. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hello, Fugonomics. You know, I, I thought it was really funny when, like, uh, when when I went to university in Leeds, someone said, like, you know, someone was from uh, Manchester, and they were like, "You bloody Northerners in Manchester," and like, <laughs> I was thinking, Manchester is a fucking Southerner, <laughs> but Manchester is 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 you know is is Northern. But uh, not as northern as me. But I guess it's weird, right? It's weird because we've got like, you know, Elp being down south, and then like Elp's about as south as you can go, and I'm about as north as you can go. But like, we're still in like a tiny state. If it was America, wouldn't it? Like, it's fucking crazy. Can't really. It's like a six-hour drive between the two of you, isn't it? Something like that. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah. Like, it's just fucking, can't even understand the scale of America, like, but, there you go. I know the first time I drove through Texas, it was like 12 hours into it, and I'm like, still in Texas. <laughs> it's <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> there you go. Oh, God, look at this, the, uh, the camel clutch. Put him in the camel clutch, break his back, and make him humble. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly, Bizzle. I drive an hour to work every day, and that's close. <laughs> wow. Dude. That's like halfway through the UK if I were to, if I were to commute. <laughs> yeah, that'd be... <laughs> I guess I'm going to go from, work in France. <laughs> yeah, that's literally from here to Leeds. That is about an hour. Yeah, about an hour's drive here to Leeds. And Leeds is, Leeds is Yorkshire, isn't it? And I know. I'm in Geordie land. <laughs> wow, really on Arnia. That's wild, isn't it? <laughs> I'm not actually in Newcastle. I'm half an hour away from Newcastle. But I'm in the kind of Newcastle zone. <laughs> oh, I heard that you guys are getting uh, Popeyes or moving over to United Kingdom. Really? Are they good? Yeah. You were, well, everybody says they're good. It's just Southern Fried Chicken. Oh, I prefer KFC, but mm. oh, the good cutter! This could be it. Lean Gary with a breakup. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm never gonna have. I'm never gonna have KFC ever again in my life, probably. So, 
<laughs> you know, in Japan on Valentine's Day, you have to like make reservations like six months in advance to eat at KFC. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why they love it so much over there. Amazing. <laughs> I mean, it was so funny we went to the, my mates my mates like uh, my mates Irish and we went to his uh, we went to his that's not really relevant but he is and we went to his uh, stag do in Prague and his fucking dad was just wandering around all the time just everywhere he was going and he was like steak steak they've got steak look they've got steak there and the other thing was like we need Kentucky Kentucky over and he was just like he was just wandering around Looking Prague, looking for steak and Kentucky Fried Chicken. <laughs> and then eventually he found a Kentucky Fried Chicken and he was over the moon and they all gorged themselves on Kentucky Fried Chicken. That was the highlight of the weekend. Apart from all of the things that happened. Oh! Whoa! Yes, somebody won. <laughs> Lean Gary's walked away! Lean Gary has walked away! From Oriolensis, and Oriolensis won! Back. Holy shit! Unbelievable, Oriolensis wins the match for them, and Lean Gary fucks off. That's the wrong match. Oh, je Oh, well, that's, that looks like the end of. Uh, <laughs> Tom Schnee's in the booth. He's got to go and have a triple threat match with just Joe. And I'm too noob for you. There you go. The further north you go, the more south it is. Hmm? Wow, that's unbelievable. Threw his hat down, yeah. <laughs> That's called the Bible Belt Belt meme. <laughs> oh, no, well, yeah. Elp is, of course... <laughs> Elp is, of course, the foremost authority on, on, Ameri on America. <laughs> oh, dear. And here is the Friday Footboy himself. Bomb blue. <laughs> Making his way to the ring from Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Weighing Without the Bible Belt, we wouldn't have people putting gasoline in plastic bags. <laughs> oh man! And the fucking Hummer that was burned out. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we're all in our Alabama has its uses. It keeps Mississippi the forty ninth in the country in stupidity. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, Nani. I think. I think the best is definitely people. <laughs> people getting gas, putting oil in their fucking <laughs> bags, <laughs> in plastic bags, and burning their fucking cars down. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I used to work at a gas station when gas was like four dollars a gallon. And stuff like that. And you would still see assholes come in with like two liter bottles and filling it up because they think it's going to go up another nickel. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, that was like in Mexico like two years ago or something, wasn't it? No, that's a shame. 
but the Hummer thing really and happened. It's stupid it? then, it's stupid now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, people will still be doing it, to be fair. <laughs> Someone in America will be doing it. Like that dude who drank his fucking goldfish tank because of... <laughs> because Trump said what well, one of the chemicals that's in it, wasn't it? He said one of the chemicals that's in, like this chemical might be useful. So this guy goes, oh, Well it's in it's in my fish tank. <laughs> I'll just drink all my fish tank water. <laughs> I think it's stupid enough in Canada you get milk in bags. I think that's dumb enough when <laughs> I'm putting gasoline in one. Milk in bags? Yeah. What? Is that a real thing? Yeah, as far as I can tell, until somebody tells me otherwise. Jesus Christ. <laughs> what the fuck is this real? <laughs> Why do Canadians buy milk bags that can't? What the fuck? What's wrong with them? Well, they're Canadian, for one. The concept might seem odd to those who didn't grow up drinking bagged milk, but to roughly half of Canadian milk consumers, the milk bladder is a way of life. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Pillow pouch. <laughs> I kind of hope Noob uh, just dominates this match and pins them both in 10 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> are easy to store in the refrigerator. Yeah, okay, that's fair enough. That's oh, the fucking most stupid thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Where my uh, great grandmother lives, they still have a milkman that comes around and you know gives you the milk in the little plastic or in the little glass bottles and stuff. Oh yeah, that bit, that that those were the days. <laughs> don't don't have them here, but I guess there's, there's some. Wine in a box is really wine in a bag inside a box. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> Stop drinking out the bladder. <laughs> oh, Tom Schniz has heard about. <laughs> He's like, don't you drink out of my bladder? <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> I still think the delivery pumpkin, the pumpkin delivery guy, is just a figment of Azahop's uh, imagination. <laughs> it's just some lonely farmer. <laughs> and he's just made up the whole story for him. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> it's kind of like how every town has that guy, like, you know, dresses in like a Santa suit. And, Hands out carnations to everybody, and it's just like anybody from the outside. They ask me, "Who is that?" Oh, that's just Tim. <laughs> Look at that crazy dude that just everybody accepts. <laughs> Odons just happens to deliver pumpkins to people. <laughs> what I thought was funny was in Germany was there was like a fucking ice cream van, and the ice cream van, like in Britain, like you know, probably in America, if you've got ice cream vans, you must do right. Yeah, yeah, I know yeah. you do because of GTA. Um, they like, they like, you know, they play like little jingles, right? They make you, they make the little kids go, "Oh, that's nice." There's, there's an ice cream van, and in in Germany where I was anyway, the ice cream van was just like ringing a bell. <laughs> you know, it's just like the the worst thing is just like rings a bell, like ding, 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 and that's the that's the ice cream. And then the fucking the scrap merchant guy had like had like. Had like an ice cream van kind of thing, like we just play a little tune and that. <laughs> because the Germans really like, really like their metal <laughs> much more, <laughs> much more 
much more than they'd like. Cream and scrap metal from the same guy. <laughs> no, no, no. He's just a metal guy. But they were like, you know, you really like that guy. Whereas it was like, nah. <laughs> ice cream. Anyway, um, should try and commentate on the match. That's a good idea. Uh, well, I'm like 30 seconds behind the match, so... <laughs> <laughs> you can watch it in Discord, and then you'll be watching it at the right time. I'm streaming in Discord if you want to. Uh, are you? That seems like effort. Yeah, if you don't want to, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just concentrating on not saying anything racist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, then that's fair. Please, please don't do that. <laughs> oh, the bread mask! Pins I'm tuning for you! And what a, what a lot of momentum he has got rolling into backlash. He was super confident in the I'm country. Back the booth now. <laughs> what do you think about that match, the bread mask? Oh, je sens que bébé vert, que c'est bébé, oui, 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 c'est pipi pipi, chimp, blé. Did you, did you feel that you earned your poutine during that match? Oh, oui, 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 je sens que bébé vert, c'est pipi, oui, pas que pur, pip. The was that really was in uh, France. We went to, to Euro Disney, and like you know, they did everything in French, and then they do everything in like in American, and they were like, they were like, blah, 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 <laughs> Hello, Goliath. It's a lot of beavers. It's a lot of beavers. Right, so next up, we've got Squirrel Dude. He's taking on J5 for the World Heavyweight Championship in two days' time. But first, he's got to get past the man mountain that is Table Leg Wanger. No oh, baby. Spreadable meat. The fucking the meat Because I was already in France, help. <laughs> <laughs> and I've been to Florida Disney World like a million times. Meat slab. Meat slab was my favorite thing by Bezel. <laughs> and and Bezel Bezel said a lot of things that I approve of, and I but I really love the meat slabs. <laughs> Yeah, they used to have, they put a stop to it, but they used to be like you could like hire a cripple because cripples would like go to the front of the lines. And so these people with like busted legs and stuff like that would like hire themselves out where you just pay for their park ticket, park ticket for the day. And then you just like carry this person around with you. So you just go to the front of the line all the time. <laughs> And also, we've got the bread mask here. <laughs> but a lot of times it backfires. If you have somebody with like a mobility scooter or whatever, you have to wait for that one little like flotation, you know, flotation thing that has the mobility like capability. So you may be in the front of the line, but you still wait like a half hour until that one car comes around that allows you to put the scooter in it. <laughs> Squirrel dude. Squirrel dude. 
He's looking up for this. Are he you needs a tie. Yeah, I guess he could have a tie, didn't he? Are you, are you scared? Are you, are you, like, perturbed about your upcoming match? Not scared, obviously. But no, you know. not really. I haven't changed my eating habits. <laughs> Still going to be snacking. I might just put the belt around Satterfield's waist and have him out there wrestling in my place. <laughs> Nobody would know the difference. <laughs> you idiot couldn't figure out for six months that I was Mr. Reeves. <laughs> Nobody, would notice. Oh, not. Nobody would notice Satterfield out there. That's a good point. But uh, yeah, scroll has been on a tear, hasn't he? He's beaten everyone. He's beaten Goliath. He's beaten, he's beaten Rick even. He is absolutely... Unbelievable, he's doing. <laughs> no, Goliath. Sadly, no hot tub stream. I think Squirrel's constantly been on a tear. Like, since the beginning. It's just all of a sudden, he just wasn't on shows anymore. <laughs> yeah, he even beat Demon Rick, didn't he? <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow, that was a terrible mistake by Wanger. Failed to connect and was. Brutally counted. Oh, there's the turncoat, Gary. You just showed up. <laughs> Hello, Lean Gary. Unbelievably, you just uh, you you won your match with Das Hats versus YPA, but then Lean Gary abandoned. No, I won't give abandoned in until I'm match. victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. I don't Woo. I don't have the thing open anymore because I, I googled milk in bags. No, <laughs> 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 oh, the creator dashboard. <laughs> Let's have a look. Flicky flag. You can Thank try you. to see if you can special order milk in bags now. <laughs> Flicky, thank you very much for staying fantastic for 15 glorious months. Nearly four who beaver pregnancies. Oh, yeah. Also, I don't know if I thank you, but thank you on Onani 25 minutes ago. Um, I just didn't notice that. I don't think I noticed that. Like, I don't think I noticed it. But if I did... Then I would have thanked you, but if I didn't, then thank you very much for allowing me for the bits. Uh, doing Rick's match. Oh, they're starting now, aren't they? Is that the Super League or is that the CCL? CCL. Rick and his 2,300 TV kids left. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear, with a fucking... they allowed him to play, because live in the CCL. <laughs> with a fucking strength two blitz up. What a man, man. I don't know how he's done it, like, I, he, to be fair, he, like, he did an amazing run. He did, like, nine wins in a draw to qualify, which is just unbelievable, isn't it? Even though he's 2,000 on TV, it's still amazing. But, like, I don't even know how he got to 2,000 on TV, like... I can't keep a chaos team. <laughs> I can't get a chaos team over 2K TV. Never mind a fucking kiss left team. <laughs> yeah, I played four games with chaos this year or this season, and I'm done with them. <laughs> what a dumb game or what a dumb team. Yeah, I absolutely hate them. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me, does it? That doesn't surprise me. It is Rick, though. Yeah, that's that's fair. Well, his lover only allowed to like be in like every third chalice, though. So <laughs> that's true. Yeah. Oh, huge, huge stuff. I mean, this could stadium be and things that that, <laughs> that keep them uh, viable. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's true. The the rules of like probability <laughs> they just don't apply. Really. Here we go. Tune up the band. Boosh! Knocks his fucking teeth out. This could be it. No, oh, squirrel dude. Somehow that always seems to me like to be the only effective finisher in wrestling. Just, I mean, you can do all the little flippy shit and stuff like that, but a kick to the face is still a kick to the face. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what what I hate about that is now, now like it does like 
things just you know they just do it all the time they do like loads of people do super yeah. kicks all the time it's like the commentators it's always no longer a finisher yeah and the commentators always sell it like it still is they're like oh my god he just he just knocked him out he's, he looks like he's been knocked out and it's like but he's gonna kick out it's just a normal move and like oh he could have lost a tooth and it's like no he hasn't lost a tooth <laughs> He has well, the same thing as like Jake the Snake. I mean, he just used a DDT as his finisher, and like now, I mean, that's just like a, a standard move for anybody else. Yeah. But Jake the Snake, as soon as he DDTs, yeah, oh, it's over. <laughs> yeah, to, I just hate it though. I hate it, Night Demon. I proper hate it because it looks devastating, and it's just it's sold as devastating, but it's not. De it's never ever ever devastating so you mean kicking somebody's hand next to their head isn't devastating <laughs> <laughs> no. oh my god look at this he's he's got he's got wanger up for the last ride unbelievable oh, no. <laughs> oh for 720 pounds of him yeah that's a lot of man to get up for a, a last ride but wanger kicks out not to mention having his wanger right in your face when you're doing it. I know, right? <laughs> it's the mental fortitude it takes to do to put somebody in that position. <laughs> I guess. Oh, well, yeah, Scooter. If it's, I guess. We, I guess we should be uh, finished with some kind of time. Yeah. Oh, dear. <laughs> Wanger. Oh wow, here we go. Here we go. Boosh! That's it, the second. The second switching music of the match. <laughs> Wanger has beaten Squirrel Dude. That's pin in wrestling. My god. Well, that super kick is not just a shitty transition move because it is Wanger's finisher. <laughs> I want a bit of respect here, maybe. Busted open, Squirrel, Squirrel's bleeding profusely here. I wonder how, what that's going to mean for his match against J5 at Backlash. Double audio? What are you talking about, Alp? Um, anyway, and then here we go, we've got, we've got your lot, J5. The Snackers are in business, the Unnatural Snackers. Muppet Pac-Man and Satterfield up against uh, Cock and Ball Torture. Cocky, Moradam and Sheila. <laughs> Sheila not taking part in the match, of course. That's not allowed. Um, but she will be there managing them. Walking around in a circle, doing nothing like she always does. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Earning is... 70 cents on the dollar. <laughs> <laughs> that is exactly what she'll be doing. She'll be wandering around there in a circle thinking about how much how much her Dodge coins are worth. <laughs> <laughs> God, I wish I'd I wish I'd got on the on the fucking like, you know, like obviously everyone wishes they got on the Bitcoin thing, but even Dodge coin would have been amazing, wouldn't it? Wasn't Dogecoin, like, designed to not go over a dollar or something like that? I've got no idea. Some guy said, did I mean, you think know. about I this when you make it? it uh, I just read this on Twitter the other day. Someone said, like, he asked him a question. He said, did you think about this when you make it? And he's like, dude, I made it in about half an hour. I didn't think about anything. <laughs> <laughs> Dogecoin. We need to figure out how to make a cryptocurrency to make a Jimmy coin. Yeah, man. I, would, I, would, I would really love to make bison dollars. Could you imagine how good that would be? <laughs> Only good for chicken and broccoli. <laughs> <laughs> it's literal bison dollars. Oh, that would be the best thing ever. The Especially if they became worth like five English pounds. <laughs> <laughs> and then you can play the clip. <laughs> and then people might 
think you'd kidnap the Queen of England. Oh, we just need to figure out how to uh, monetize this Jimmy Fantastic chocolate craze that's gonna hit. No man, but yeah, fan fuck said it's probably better to not to not like message them at all or don't alert them to your presence because they're not gonna make any money out of like sponsoring me, so why would they do it? Is the thing, isn't it? Which yeah. Is... Oh, they they'd end up doing is a cease and desist. You're no longer allowed Jimmy Fantastic as your screen name that you've had for 20 years. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, probably not, Steve. My no, because it's a bit it's a bit assholeish, isn't it? I guess I could have made it private and showed like my patrons. I guess I guess I could have done that, but I didn't. I just deleted it. Because it's you pretty... just have to misspell a bunch of words. <laughs> no, no, I, I overlaid Flicky's rant. I overlaid Flicky's rant, you know, of the, uh, it's just not puzzle, enjoy this game. With the Blood Bowl 3 trailer. <laughs> <laughs> and it synced up perfect at the end. <laughs> at the end, like, when the Blood Bowl 3 comes up. <laughs> it was just like, it's just not puzzle, though, enjoy this game. <laughs> it just isn't puzzle. <laughs> it was brilliant. Oh, thanks, Onania. Wait, here we go, CBT. They'll be putting their line on the their titles on the line against the unstoppable fucking rats. The rats have won every single match since their return to the JFW. What a hot streak the fucking rats are on. Surely they're destined for glory. A backlash. Maybe. I just hope they uh, wear something sparkly. Oh, did Taki change his uh, underwear? <laughs> he did. Yeah, he's no longer. He's no longer got the nappy. He's now got koala skin uh, pants. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty snazzy, I think. <laughs> Yeah, Muppet with the smiley face is pretty good, isn't it? I'm pretty happy with Muppet. He's one of the first ones. One of the first JFW wrestlers. I think he was the first one, wasn't he? He might be, yeah. Well, other, obviously, other than Jimmy. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, Jimmy might not have even been first, right? Because I, I, I took the picture of my face, so I probably, I probably made people without face pictures first. So, I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. I, I liked in 2K16 when I made I made I made Bezel and Skuro just identical with different clothes. <laughs> like the real Jimmy way out. <laughs> same person, different clothes, <laughs> or lack thereof. Oh, close enough. <laughs> <laughs> Satterfield's got such a violent move set. <laughs> it's brilliant, isn't it? It's it's absolutely brilliant. It works so well for a gigantic dude. <laughs> His tiny little feet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, what a maneuver from Moradan. Boy, howdy. <laughs> Have you ever said boy, howdy in your life, J5? No. <laughs> I do use howdy as a greeting, though. I don't know where I picked that up, but... <laughs> it was amazing when Skuro said boy, howdy. I think that's like the most American thing I've ever heard <laughs> in my life. I have said woo doggy before though, like unironically. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, it's like the second kick to the face though. Yeah, oh god, brutal clothesline as well. Quick tag? No, no. Just loosen his shoulder up. <laughs> 
hits in the shoulder and then use the other one to hit him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That misdirection play. <laughs> ah, now he makes the tag. Muppets in. Two evenly sized opponents, really. Muppet. Pretty much goblin size. <laughs> I think you'd have to have like more damn sitting on Kaki's shoulders to be equal size to Satterfield. <laughs> yeah, yeah, give him a pig piggyback. <laughs> be like, uh, was it Master Blaster from Thunderdome? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I made a PTK tire as, uh, as Master Blaster, you know. <laughs> but I uh, haven't had a chance to use it. But I was pretty, I was pretty happy with the Master Blaster that I made. Oh, big miss. Moridan. Oh. Jeez. Just imagine if that turnbuckle was removed, how much damage that would do. Oh, it'd be <laughs> devastating. It'd be slightly uncomfortable. <laughs> it would be devastating. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, though, because it is quite like, you know, I'm, funny enough, speaking randomly. I don't know why I thought this, but that's the thing. That I mean, that's kind of the, like I can't speak English. The job of the commentators in the wrestling is quite important, isn't it? Because no one's getting hurt unless there's an accident. <laughs> so like they've got a cell removing the turnbuckle as it like then causes you know like pain and stuff, isn't it? So like it's pretty, it's pretty good. I think I think wrestling commentary is really good and important, whereas. Most like you know football and stuff like that. It's like I don't need commentary. I can see what's happening. Yeah. Well, the problem with the football commentary is they always like, well, he's got to be thinking this. It's like really, you're gonna think you're gonna get into his head and he's thinking this. Like, just commentate on what's happening. Don't protract your own feelings into the play. <laughs> yeah. I'd, I'd but I've generally... been watching a lot of like that little like independent wrestling, like the Scuro Fed. Uh, photographers for yeah. and stuff like that where they don't have commentators <laughs> and it's it's funny that you see like the wrestlers in the ring doing the commentary <laughs> you know? oh, yeah. because they have to yeah oh man what's he called uh john cena is the worst for like just going just going like you know power bomb <laughs> he just says it just totally loud <laughs> he's just like <laughs> he's just like punch me in the face <laughs> it's still like it's just <laughs> It's so good. I was watching that uh, uh, documentary on uh, on Macho Man, and he was talking about the you know was it WrestleMania where he's uh, with uh, Ricky the Steamboat Dragon that match, and they were showing like the the legal pad that they were using, and they had like three hundred and seventy different parts of the match all lined up already yeah. pre scripted. I was like, how the hell did these idiots memorize 360 lines of moves? Yeah, it was only, it was like only uh, Randy Savage pretty much that did it as well, I think. Like yeah. Mostly, mostly well, that's what they, everybody just... said. Like, Randy Savage was such a perfectionist about it. Like, he wanted to have everything, like, documented before a match. And all these other people were like, come on, dude, just go out there and, and wrestle. Like, it's, <laughs> we don't have to plan out everything that's going to happen. Yeah. Yeah, it's wild, isn't it? I mean, just literally everything. It's pretty mad. Oh! Stomp to the face from the smelly sandal. <laughs> Probably some Dirty koala skin. <laughs> oh shit! It's time for Shattered Dreams! Oh, I hate this move. Oh! <laughs> That, that was really the one thing they were saying in uh, Stone Cold's little biography thing. Like, you know, his pants were always so tight on him that he couldn't necessarily la lift his leg up as much as he wanted to. So every time he did one of those, like, kick to the nuts, like, a lot of times he actually would kick people in the nuts instead of, like, in the stomach because he did couldn't get his leg up high enough because <laughs> his pants were too tight. <laughs> oh, oh, here we go. Boosh. Gets him down, kick the chops. It's funny because uh, you probably don't know uh, thingy uh, Drew McIntyre, do you? I know the name. Yeah. Well, he's like, he's got a, 
move, his finishes the claymore. Uh, well, Kurgol does it in this, and he did that because his pants were too tight, and he just he tried to do it. He tried to do a big boot, and because his fights, because his pants were too tight, like his trousers, whatever, whatever Americans call. I don't know what Americans call pants. Is do you call trousers pants? Oh my God, this ref was uh, killed. Currently, we call them pants, but in the 1800s, they called them trousers. Right. So his pants, <laughs> his pants were too tight, <laughs> and uh, or jeans or whatever the fuck he was wearing. And so he, so he tried to do a big boot, and then he realised he couldn't do it, so he jumped up. He had to jump up with like the the other leg as well, and that was that was how he created his finisher. There you go. Just by having, just his his, tan, his pants being too tight. That's just a, a jumping boot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That is essentially it. Yeah, just a big jumping boot. Yeah. And it looks pretty cool as well. It was pretty good that he, he found it by having two tight pants. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like Hulk Hogan used to have, like, what, that giant leg drop as his finisher. I was like, what the hell kind of a dumbass finisher is that? It's terrible. <laughs> Nobody isn't cares. It? Like, it's terrible. And it destroyed him as well. It just kind of fucked his, like, his spine and that, didn't it? Because he's just jumping on his ass. <laughs> <laughs> he had like he had like, I think two hip two hip replacements and stuff. Really, the DDT was because he slipped. I never knew that. Wow. That's <laughs> well, hilarious. Taking... That's hilarious. He just slipped. <laughs> oh, here we go. Six one nine. I can't believe I never knew that. That's the sort of thing you'd think you'd know, isn't it? Holy shit. Oh, Cocky was going for Satatoad. But that was a <laughs> big mistake. The, the fucking snake, oh boy! Oh, right to the heart of Cocky. The ref's absolutely shocked. Satatoad gets straight in. Oh, runs the interference. But Cocky kicks out anyway. Is Scotty Too Hotty still in wrestling? No. He no. might even be dead. Not even like as like a writer or anything? No, he might even be dead. I don't know, one of them's dead. I think. I always liked him. He was just so stupid as a wrestler. Yeah. Him and Hurricane Helms. Am I even The other one was like King's son, wasn't he? Is he, is he the one who's dead? <laughs> Bessel! <laughs> oh, dear. Boosh, another kick to the face. Satatod's absolutely shattered. This is it. Satterfield isn't coming in. Oh, he kicks out. Yeah, is that is that is that King's son? Is that is that right? Jerry Lawler's son. Yeah. Yeah, I knew one of them. And Scotty. Yeah, I remember seeing Scotty too hot. He vaguely recently. Now that I think about it, but it still could have been. Oh shit, really? Oh, no. There you go. Ooh, back to the corner. Another tag in. Satatoad. What's he gonna do here? Oh, Kaka's in and power bombs in. Brutal. He's gonna kick him in the fucking face here. <laughs> he didn't catch all of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you imagine the wind that caused. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. It's hilarious when the commentary like says stuff like that. It didn't catch all of it. <laughs> he caught fucking none of it. <laughs> Oh, but the big counter from Cocky. Mm. 
There we go. Lots of tags here from the Snackers. They're looking on form. Oh, busts open cocky. More of them screaming for the tag. More them screaming for the tag. Sheila doing nothing. <laughs> yep, like every time. <laughs> <laughs> Big atomic drop. Yeah, Cocky doesn't need a tag. He's he's completely exhausted. <laughs> oh god. We're just three or four more six one nines away from winning. <laughs> yep. <laughs> He's going to tag in Satatoad. Really want the bigger guy in the ring, don't they? So that now Muppet is able to, to break up the pins and stuff. I think that's always better to have the big the big guy in the ring. Get those accidental tag out, or uh, uh, tap out, or not tap outs, uh, accidental three counts because they can't get their fat ass off of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh, could this be a submission? No. Already counted. Oh, Rick's only on turn one now. That's pretty good. Big delay from Rick's match. Rick's match didn't start at 10. It started at 25 past. If this had started on time, it would have finished perfectly in time to do it. Never mind. There's only one more match after this one, right? Oh, there is only one more match, yep. Yeah. It's your match, J5. Oh, uh, yeah. Where I have to eat for the year or something. <laughs> yep. Another big boot. Now, to if the I was face. smart, I would just wouldn't get in the ring and they would count me out and I would retain until Sunday. Yeah, I did, I did that in one thing. There was like, you know, some uh, campaign mode or whatever in, in one of the games. And I just literally won the title and just got counted out in, in all of the pay per views. Like, <laughs> <laughs> the longest reigning champion ever. Yeah, it was brilliant. It was brilliant. I was just like, I just noped the fuck out of that. And but it meant that all my stats were worse because I was on this massive losing streak. <laughs> but like, I, I don't care. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna get counted out every single time. <laughs> oh, oh, but the speed of Moridan takes out Zatatoad, takes out Mor Muppet. Oh, the rest still gonna count. <laughs> <laughs> Muppet just to trying to grab the head. Him. <laughs> Gotta love that dedication. <laughs> that was brilliant. Oh, is this gonna be a frog splash? No. Oh, he went for the salmon headbutt. Totally fails. <laughs> <laughs> Breaks oh. Taki's knees in the process. Oh, that's it. He's wiped him out. The kick to the face. Sat Satterfield's nowhere to be seen. Oh, no, he is. He's got up. <laughs> Satterfield's got up, but he hasn't got in, and Muppet's kicked out. Wow. And finally, Cocky's able to tag out, but Moradan's gone down off the apron. <laughs> oh no, Moradan. Oh no. I've had enough of Cocky's shit. He's like, you wanted it, you can have it. <laughs> oh man. How fun, folks. Oh dear. Cocky is, just seems to have been in, like, for. 90% of this match now. He's got to be absolutely shattered. Ugh. Warren, Warren and Gary are going to... Lane Gary are going to form their own team. <laughs> They're sick of their shit. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, God. Finally makes the tag to Warren and he just gets slapped down and tossed off. <laughs> Sheila's pissed at Cocky for being in her spot. <laughs> Santa totally misses Moridan. 
<laughs> I was hoping he was going to nail Sheila then, but sadly. <laughs> <laughs> Go off this brown on her. <laughs> oh, dear. Hello, Buffett. No, oh, Moridam's going up the top rope. Well, not even the top rope, like top rope the outside. Holy shit. Oh, he misses. 34 feet to the ground. <laughs> Ow. That'll break your coccyx. <laughs> yep. Oh, the self rock bottom. Absolutely devastating maneuver. I'm worried I'm going to get the count out here, maybe. Six. We're up to six. Oh, back in. Yeah, needed to be a few feet south there, so he keeps throwing him into cocky. Ooh! Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no, he's not pinning him. He's just celebrating. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck's sake, Moradon. <laughs> Instant breakup from Muppet. Oh, but now he's he's busted up both members of the Snackers in rapid succession. <laughs> Got a <to> taunt again. <laughs> Winning that mental game. Absolutely. Ho oh, ho, bicycle kick. Is he going to the top rope? Or? No. Boots to the head. Loves this move, does Moradam. Brutal. He's got him? No. I thought he had him then. Fucking hell. <laughs> Very good, man. And tag got cocky back in. He looks well rested. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's the problem. If he if he doesn't tie, like if he if he's on the outside though, he's not really going to come in and uh, break up the pins, is he? So it's it's a it's a tough choice. But it looks like Moradams are just going to get fucked anyway here. Boosh. Yeah. Big knee to the face. Huge. Oh, Sat is fired up. He's thinking about white twixers. Watch out. <laughs> <laughs> can you get fired up so you can have a nice set? <laughs> I can't believe I never knew it was made by accident. That's brilliant. Oh god, that would just kill Moridan, wouldn't it? <laughs> there you go. I think kill about anybody. <laughs> oh, but he shouldn't have sat down because his balls have been. Testicular clawed. I'd love to pitch that to Vince as my finishing move. <laughs> what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get them vulnerable and then just grab their nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. He probably would to be fair. <laughs> oh incredible! Cocky summoned up his last reserves. Somehow got in the way, and the ref was knocked out, but after he finished the count, unbelievable, what a finish to that match. Unbelievable. Ripped my 17,000 points. <laughs> oh no. And ball torture. Who knows? It might have been Sheila's appearance at ringside that got them, you know, that extra motivation to, <laughs> to win the match. Even though she just walks around in circles. <laughs> Doesn't even come in the ring to celebrate. <laughs> and now it's the main event. 
It's the man who's already murdered. He's already murdered Gdernik. He would have willingly murdered Le Bread Mask. <laughs> and now he's in a fight to the death with Peppered Biscuit on Sunday. It's... Flicky Flap. Versus Johnny Five. The, uh, the world champion, and uh, I don't know. Well, how would how would you build yourself up, J Five? How would I build myself up? Yeah, is that what you said? Yeah, like you know, you're the you're the most electrifying man in sports entertainment, something like that. <laughs> the undefeated champion, three hundred and fifty-seven to zero. Yeah, that's very true, Deep Johnny. Three on commentary. <laughs> Johnny Five is completely undefeated. Matches that matter. <laughs> <laughs> well, J Five, I'm gonna have to say goodbye to you for, to get ready for your match. But it looks like we've got Mister E uh, coming into the booth to join us for this match. So, hello, Mister E. <laughs> it is great to be here. <laughs> He's already bet 10k against himself. <laughs> oh, man, that is a good build up, yeah. <laughs> Flicky's been on an absolute roll, isn't he? He beat Calcium in like about three seconds the other day. He beat Well, who hasn't? <laughs> yeah, anyone who isn't 14. <laughs> Oh boy, it's J5. Here he comes. The greatest entrance in the history of WWE. Or JFW. This isn't WWE. <laughs> it's a shame he doesn't have the holes, isn't it? But uh, he probably wouldn't do that in this day and age. Yeah. I think there's a lot of entrances back in the day that they wouldn't allow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lady Destroyer Jim. The undefeated. I wonder if you could have the undefeated as a prefix when, when someone comes out, then you could have the undefeated Lady Destroyer Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> I think without the water wings, you can finally see the definition on my arms, though. All right, very chiseled. Chiseled is J5. An absolute powerhouse. Look, what a move that is. Holy shit. Poison runner, isn't it? Outrageous. Game over. That's all I needed. <laughs> <laughs> all he needed. Yes, all he needed. Your mystery, we... <laughs> We all know that. <laughs> exactly, Chimp. Exactly. That is that is the thing. <laughs> Chocolate milk. <laughs> what a suplex. I love J5's moveset. It's what I would have if uh, if I hadn't given myself Vulcan Warriors for no fucking reason. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's because I thought Ultimate Warrior was shit, and I'd be shit as well, <laughs> basically. <laughs> but then I realised I could. Ultimate just get... Warrior without the cocaine really isn't anything. Yeah. <laughs> and like, I should, I should. Oh my God, is it? No, it's not. It. It's a hell of a move. Boosh. That is the Gorilla Press into wow. Spinebuster. Very impressive move from Flicky. I bet that hurt Johnny Five. Stay down. <laughs> you have a match on in two days. <laughs> <laughs> oh, HTK, yeah. J Five may be throwing the match. There could be, there could be allegations of match fixing here. <laughs> oh, 
Great move. Yeah, big disadvantage actually, isn't it, for uh, Squirrel and uh, J5 having a fight on the Friday, just two days before. Night Demon Rick got a lot of rest in after their match on Monday. And Pepper Biscuit as well will be fresher than Flicky for the fight to the death. That's uh, that's going to be very important. Oh boy, top rope Johnny. Top rope, there he goes. One of his mini <laughs> repertoire. <laughs> Glorious crossbody. Oh my god, he knocks out the ref on his way. <laughs> 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 oh no, he lands on the knees. Uh, more shins, actually. That would just destroy Flicky, but never mind. It's wrestling logic. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's, that's just a crazy. Devastating manoeuvre there, Johnny Five knocked off those wonderfully padded turnbuckles. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense why it would hurt, but hey. Sheer velocity, I guess. Oh, look at this, the elbows from J5 and a sling blade. Top form from J5 here. He's Some looking... people call it a sling blade, I call it a Kaiser blade. <laughs> <laughs> He's looking mm, almost as good as Mr. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, the paper bag did have magical properties, I believe. Oof. A bit like the mask in the movie. The mask. Well, the paper bag had all the grease from the fast food place. I could secretly snack in the middle of matches. <laughs> nice. <laughs> well, here we go. Flat hammer. Will this put away J5? Probably. Oh, such a devastating maneuver. Oh, he kicks out. Look, well, he's not happy about it. He's not. He ever, though. <laughs> he's irate. <laughs> it's just not possible to pin this guy. <laughs> Give him the rusty trombone. Cleveland oh. steamer. Wow, amazing. What not the Cleveland God. steamer, the uh, the move there <laughs> Johnny Five, it was not a Cleveland steamer. <laughs> it was an amazing crossbody from the top rope to the outside. Very impressive. I would love it with Bobby the Brain, like it would be commentating on uh Tito Santana. And it's like the flying taco. <laughs> gave him the flying burrito. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, big elbow there from the top. Is he going to get the cover? Yep. Will top rope Johnny get the win here? No. Flicky no, kicks out. out. <laughs> and that is the only place you can deliver a Cleveland steamer, isn't it? <laughs> <In fact>. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, cannonball! Oh, this could be it. This could be it. Well, he's used up, well it's, he still has the uh, flying head, but but he's used every one of his other moves. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> unbelievable. Oh, and now he's got the finisher. This, this is this is it. This is the. Uh... Oh no! It's not. It's not the curb stomp. Flicky no, cannonballs. <laughs> Oh god, Flicky looks fucked there with his legs in, in the air, but managed to get up, counters. Oh, and punches him in the outside. Well, at least it's not a stupid old school. <laughs> yep.
I always love that they just like lift them up and then go back in the ring. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's a bit it's a bit fucked, isn't it? Oh, just stomping on J5 now. Oh, a nice counter. Wanted to go top rope there, J5. But was unable to make it. <laughs> it's like he's dumb body in the way. <laughs> yep. Oh, he's doing the worst chap shooter in the world. Oh, no, it's not. Well, he gets counted anyway. I thought he was going to do the rocks sharp shooter, but it's Fan Fox that does the rocks sharp shooter, isn't it? And now we've got it, the curb stomp. Oh, boy. Brutal. That could be it. That could be it for Flicky Flack. No! Oh, my God. Flicky showing that never day, never day sigh attitude. <laughs> never say die. That's that's the dull shoot. <laughs> Did that before, but in the uh, what was it, the screw job with Brother Hitman Hart, where, where um, what's his name, put him in the sharpshooter. He like put him in there wrong, and Brett had to fix it for him just so he could lose that match. <laughs> Well, Brett screwed Brett, didn't he? That's, that's weird, as we all know. <laughs> that's it. That's it. J5 has got the win. He's got him. He's getting on the Who train. All the way to Backlash. Well, thanks very much, Mr. E. Uh, We've just got time to hear from Johnny Five before the end of the show. <laughs> Congrats on the big win. Must be very oh, confident heading into uh, in the backlash now. Super confident facing Squirrel Dude. I'm sure uh, he'll give it at all his all. If nothing else, he'll make spreadsheets about it. <laughs> You'll make a very helpful Reddit post, I'm sure. <laughs> Oh, yes. It'll be 17 paragraphs long. <laughs> It'll be seen by three people. <laughs> all, all those charts, he made those brilliant charts for like the odds of armor breaks and stuff. That was he, He's probably the most useful Reddit poster in history of Squirrel Dude. <laughs> to be honest. I mean, which isn't, to be fair, there's not a lot of competition there when it comes to useful Reddit posts. But but hey, that is, that is his niche. And... Uh, we can now exclusively reveal a backlash. It's going to be Dimmy G versus Physics. Dimmy G going after the guy who beat, well, who lost to his pal Elliot from Blitzpit. That should be pretty great. Um, so, yeah, that is it. Thank you very much, Johnny Five, for joining us in the booth. Yes, thank you for having me, and we'll see you on Sunday. Glorious. And thank you, Le Bread Mask, as well, who uh, we haven't heard a lot of. I think he's been busy eating some crepes. Yeah, yes, he, he was. And uh, there you go. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.